Hi friends, and welcome to this video about buying Bitcoin in China. When it comes to the internet, security is of utmost importance, and that's why I strongly recommend using proven methods. There are many online and offline exchanges that deal with cryptocurrency, but it's crucial to focus on the reviews of real people. The most popular and reliable online services for buying and selling cryptocurrency can be found by studying the statistics of exchanges. I will leave the links to the leading exchanges in the description to the video. All of them are safe and easy to use. You can use a bank card or transfer to buy Bitcoin, as well as other methods available in your country. I will use the Binance exchange as an example for this video. However, all exchanges are similar in use, and you will have the ability to use any other exchange after watching this tutorial. By the way, crypto exchanges allows you to trade other cryptocurrencies besides Bitcoin. But I recommend you to be very careful if you are purchasing a little known cryptocurrency. For those residing in China, you can purchase Bitcoin using various payment options, which are displayed on the screen right now. Simply select the one that is most convenient for you. To start using crypto exchange, simply click on the register or sign up button on the top right side of the website page. I will leave links to the popular exchanges, you will find them under this video. In many cryptocurrency exchanges, you need to verify your identity. This is a standard process for any financial institution. This is a quick process that shouldn't take more than a few minutes. Let's see how to use this platform. At first, registration. Everything is simple. Here it asks you for your email address and password. Also, you can enter your phone number. After that, usually you have to enter a confirmation code from your email or phone. When you have created an account, you need to go through the procedure of knowing your client. I'm doing it in a mobile app. Just find up an App Store or Google Play in your phone. Then, when you open the application, log into your account, and the button for verification will appear. Click on it, and then enter your country of resistance, and then enter your name, surname, and correct date of birth. At last, verify it with your passport or government-issued ID card. Then take a selfie and everything is done. After that, you will be able to use all the features of the exchange. It will be possible to buy cryptocurrency with a bank card, or through the bank deposit if the amount is large and you don't want to pay commission. On this platform, there are always options to deposit funds through P2P. Go to the appropriate section and you will see a lot of bank applications and people who make transfers. But here, all transfers have to be done manually and Binance acts as a guarantor. It is better to be guided here by reviews. Selling cryptocurrency and receiving money to your bank account or card is similar to a bank card, direct transfer to a bank account or via P2P. When the funds were put into the exchange, the fastest way to exchange them for a crypto the current exchange rate is conversion or place orders at the desired price on spot market. But you need at least a little understanding of how the market works. That the order will be triggered when the market price is the same as in your order. You can also deposit cryptocurrency that you bought on another exchange or hand it to you, for example by a friend. But pay attention to the choice of network when depositing cryptocurrency. It must be the same one in which the transfer is made, otherwise the translation can get lost. When the desired cryptocurrency for the deposit and network are selected, you will receive a personal unique wallet number. You can deposit crypto to Binance and sell it and withdraw it to your bank account. After buying cryptocurrency or transferring to Binance, you will be able to see your balance in crypto and its value to dollars. You can find this information in the dashboard of your account. It will show also the statistic of price changes in dollars over time. And if you bought cryptocurrency on an exchange but you want to keep it in your personal wallet, you can go to the wallet of the exchange and withdraw it. To do this, select the cryptocurrency you want to withdraw. Click button withdraw and enter the address and network of the wallet to which you want to send and how much coins. But pay special attention to the choice of network when withdrawing cryptocurrency. By the way, if you use my links to register an account, you will get additional bonuses up to $30,000 depending on the exchange, which will be available in the reward hub after signing up. Dear friends, that's all for this one. If you enjoyed the video, like it and subscribe to the channel. Thanks and goodbye.